Hey. Hey. What's your name? Marigold. Marigold? That's a pretty name. Thanks. I'm quite fond of it myself. That's good. People should like the name. Right. I think so, too. Thankfully, I do. Marigold's a good name. Not like Mildred or something. No, no, no. Hold on. Mildred is my grandmother's name. See, but that makes sense. Mildred is a good grandma name. I couldn't be a Mildred. Marigold, I can be. Marigold's a type of flower, right? Right. I think they're a pretty red color. Well, that makes sense. Your hair is a pretty red color, too. Thanks. What's your name? Aaron. I know. It's not nearly as cool of a name as Marigold. It's kind of basic, actually. But basic isn't bad. I like Aaron. I think it suits you. Thank you. I think. I meant it as a compliment. Well, in that case, thank you very much. <laughs> I, um, can I ask you something? Sure. What's your favorite thing in the whole world? Favorite thing ever? Ever. Music, I guess. Music? Yeah, music. I mean, music is amazing. Right? I guess. I like music, too. Just like? I love music. It's always been a constant in my life. It's been a comfort. I know that I will always have music to help me deal with things. I get it. I do. But I don't know. I don't see music as something that actually affects your life by listening to it. It doesn't have to. It's just about the way it makes me feel. Music makes me feel like everything's going to be okay. Even in the darkest times. And that is irreplaceable to me. Haven't you ever felt that way about anything? I did. What was it? Football. Played it my whole life. Till last year. I had a pretty bad injury and it was over. Just like that. So a little bit hard to be honest I'm sorry I'm not much into sports so I can't fully relate but I do know what it's like to have something taken from you unceremoniously it sucks what have you been doing to deal this when it's not this then I just try to throw myself into my studies and hope that I some sort of passion that I lost with the tree. And nothing happened. That's heavy. Tell me about it. What about you? You said that you lost something that you loved. Uh, what was it? I mean, you don't have to tell me, of course, if you don't want to, but welcome. No, I don't mind talking. It's fine. Well, I'm a business major, but it's not my real passion. I'm an artist. I was for most of my life. But during my junior year of high school, we got this new art teacher, Mrs. Adderley. Though how anyone could be married to that woman, I still don't know. But anyways, she was a nightmare. I remember one time we had this assignment for a class. The point of it was for us to look inward and paint a picture of an animal that we felt represented us. I chose a butterfly. I always admired the way they came out gracefully despite having to deal with ugly stages in their life. And it's something I related to. I painted the butterfly and I thought it was a really good painting. Not perfect, but really good. When I brought it to her for critique, she absolutely tore it to shreds. 
and also sort of belittled me for picking what she considered to be a basic animal. After that point, things never really got better for the rest of the semester. And I just sort of lost my passion for art. I still struggle to know if I have a purpose. That's heavy. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Hatterby, right? We're so miserable. I mean, there's some great teachers out there. But uh, there's some people that just shouldn't be teachers at all. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's definitely not your fault. You don't need to apologize. It is what it is. What about music? What about it? You said you lost your passion for art, but you seem to really enjoy listening to music. So like, I don't know, maybe that there's something inside of you that can revive that passion. Oh, no. I just listen to it. I don't think I have any actual talent with music. Come on. Have you ever even tried it? I guess not. Never really thought to. I've always been plenty happy as a listener. That's fair. If you are just a listener, then that's amazing. But maybe it can be something more than just that. I'm sure that artist still lives inside of you somewhere. You could probably reignite that passion, revive it. Do something through music. That's maybe it's just something to think about. <laughs> maybe it is something to think about. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, what about you? What about me? What else do you like doing? I mean, aside from football. Um, well, I'll tell you the truth. I don't... Uh, everything around my life revolved football. And I mean, of, of course I had hobbies and all that, but I don't know, they were just more designed to just fill in the gaps of when I wasn't out of football. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know. Okay. Well, what about somewhere else in football? Aren't there coaches and stuff? Why don't you be one of them? Oh, I don't know. I think that that would be too painful. I mean, like, if I was, hypothetically, and I would just have to be so close to that field, as I just being within arm's reach, I would just be always one step back from being where I would actually want to be. I, I think that would just be too hard. I'm not ready. I guess that makes sense. But do you think that that pain would really be greater than the one you're feeling now? Or would it be easier? It would be bearable. Um, oh. <laughs> I guess that's something I'll have to think about too. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, Marigold, what are your plans for tonight? Tonight? Sort of taking it minute by minute right now. Hmm. Um, how would you like to go somewhere else and um, talk more? Well, this is my apartment. You want to go upstairs to my room and talk? That'd be great. Lead the way. You can sit on the bench. Mm. Oh, you collect vinyls? Yeah, I got my first a couple of years ago and I haven't really looked back since. I definitely still have a lot on my list of albums to get, but I'm pretty happy with my collection so far. Yeah, it looks like a pretty good one. Why, thank you. 
Can I ask you something? Sure. What's your favorite holiday memory? Ever? Ever. Wow, okay. Um, hold on, give me a second. Okay. Um, 4th of July, sophomore year of high school. Okay. Why is it your favorite? It was just one of those perfect days. It was a bright, beautiful, hot summer day. And the festival was in town. I went there with my friends. Spent the whole day with just the three of them. Alex, Leah, and Ellie. We rode rides. Played carnival games. We even won a prize or two. Oh. Later in the evening, they were doing fireworks out at the riverbank. And we set out a blanket to picnic and watch that. We were just hanging out, talking. And when it came to Leah and I, who were dating at the time, kissing. And we just watched those fire explosions above us. And I, I kissed Leah under those beautiful bombs in the sky. And it was just perfect. No other holiday memory, well, no other memory <laughs> could beat that. That's really sweet. Yeah, it was. So, what about you? What's your favorite holiday memory? Dar, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, thanks. Came to me. <laughs> Christmas, when I was 10. Okay, so why? Well, it was sort of the last happy memory I have of my family being fully together. Oh. I'm so sorry. I know that's a lot. It's okay. Wh whatever you want to talk about, I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. Well, it was nothing too dramatic, but my parents got divorced when I was 11. Regardless, it was our last Christmas together and it was truly special. You know, when people talk about that warm feeling you get, it keeps you comfortable and fills you up with joy. Mm -hmm. This is the night that gives me that feeling. Me, my mom, dad, my brother, all sitting around the Christmas tree and opening our presents, playing with our toys and watching Christmas movies until it was time to make dinner. And the pie being baked and the potatoes made and the turkey. Mm. We all sat around the table together eating dinner. It was, it was a really special moment. Sounds like it. I'm glad that you have that. Me too. So, uh, hey, back to your story. Mm -hmm. I assume you and Leah aren't still dating, or you probably wouldn't be on a bed with a girl in her room alone. If you are, you should probably leave. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not. She, um... Well, she cheated on me. It was a year after. She was at a party, and she, uh, hooked up with one of her friends. One of my friends found out, told me, and just from there, I cut it off. Jesus, that's terrible. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Cheating's the worst. Yeah, it really is. We were dating for two years, and don't let me fool you, that shit hurt a lot. And I just still feel a whole lot of stuff. I don't think I've gotten fully over it. And I, I just still have a lot of trust issues after that. I don't blame you. I've been in some really shitty relationships, but never cheated on. Love is confusing, isn't it? 
That's a universal fact. Yeah. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Shoot. Did you still love her? Even after she cheated? Wow. You weren't kidding, huh? Um. Um. Yeah. I, I definitely did. I still love her. Um. When I found out that she cheated, yeah, I was sad and pissed off, but under those negative feelings, um, there, there was definitely still love. I mean, there had to have been for me to feel so much, you know. Only those you love can hurt you so much. It's ironic, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. So, what about you? You said that your experience with love has been pretty negative. Well, yeah. I guess I never really had a good example to start with. I thought my parents were in love, but they didn't last. Growing up, my brother had a couple of girlfriends, but those ended pretty nasty too. I don't know, I guess by the time I was ready to be in a relationship, I didn't even know what love looked like anymore. It led me to picking a lot of guys that definitely didn't help me getting any closer to figuring it out. That sucks. I'm sorry that happened to you. Um, have you gotten any closer to figuring it out while you've been single? Not yet, but it's only been about six months since my last relationship. I've only just now gotten comfortable being alone again. So I'm hoping figuring it out comes somewhere in the next step. I hope so too. So, was your last relationship bad too? A couple months ago, I might have told you no. But now that I've found my space, I can tell you that, yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. I was dating this guy named Jason. He was a senior last year, so he's gone now, thank God. We dated for a little under a year. Early on, he was great, honestly. And I thought that maybe I had finally found a good one. As the months went on, he got more angry and angry, and we argued over little things. And he had this habit of always making me feel like I was the one at fault for everything. I should have ended it. A lot sooner than I did. But I kept holding on to the hope that eventually things would return to the way they were. And one night. Hey, it's okay. You can tell me anything or not. This is a safe space and I, I'm here for you. One night something happened. It was at a party kind of like this, except I wasn't in my apartment, so I couldn't just escape to my room. We'd gotten into an argument earlier in the night. I don't even remember what it was about. I remember feeling super upset and I felt that tinge of guilt. And I ended up drinking so much liquor that I don't even remember being aware of what was going on. While I was in that state, he, he had sex with me. Fuck. Yeah. I told myself that it was okay. And he was my boyfriend, and that was just a thing that happened when you were together. And he loved me, so it wasn't a big deal. But every time I thought about it, I just got sick to my stomach. And I couldn't handle it anymore. And that's what led to me breaking up with him. Are you, like, 
Okay. I mean, that's some heavy shit. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But I'm okay. I don't really think that that night will ever leave me. But that doesn't mean it has to hurt me. Thanks to some therapy and a lot of help from my friends, things are getting better. I don't constantly feel sick to my stomach, and I can actually be touched without feeling terrible anxiety. So it's been a huge improvement. I'm glad to hear that. That's, that's good. You're strong, Marigold. Thanks. You're sweet, Aaron. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry that love sucks so much in general. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but we just have to do our best, right? right? It's not really our fault. Yeah. Well, I hope that one day you'll, you'll find a guy that'll be able to show you what a good relationship is. Thanks. I hope you find someone that won't cheat on you. Thanks. Hey, um, Marigold? Yeah, Eric? Is it, is it okay if we don't hook up tonight? Were we supposed to? I mean, we're, we're in your room during a party. Um, I'm just getting that vibe. Was I wrong? No, I'm just messing with oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely what we came up here to do. Okay. <laughs> You don't want to? Is it what I told you? No. No, no, no. It's not that at all. It's just... I'm just really enjoying what we're having right here in this moment. And just the space that we're holding for each other. It's... It's nice and comfortable. And I... I really don't want to pollute that with sex. Is that okay? It's totally okay. Ugh. <sighs>